Today we're going to be looking at remix sets, how remix sets and stems can complement each other, and in this video we'll be demonstrating the difference between remix sets and stems, and how they can work together in a live environment. Today I'm going to be using a D2, which controls A and C, and they both have stem tracks in, and two F1s, which control B and D, for remix sets. We also have the brand new updated 2.10.1 tractor, which shows the stems so it's easy to see on your screen. The most important thing before we get started in using stems with remix sets is to ensure that beat gridding is done correctly. I've done this in advance, but there are lots of easy ways to do it. Let me demonstrate. First we have deck A. Imagine that wasn't beat gridded properly. All we need to do is remove the one, choose wherever we want, hit number one, and change it to beat grid. You'll see in deck C, my beat grid starts further down and I've got a load marker there. Easily done as well, you just change the option. So how can we use remix decks with stems? You can almost see stem tracks as remix sets. You can manipulate stem tracks in a similar way to remix sets. With deck A we have drums, bass, synth and kotoki and in deck C we have kick, bass, synth and percussion. Now if for instance we want to get rid of the drums at any time and replace them with a kick from a remix set, you just need to pull the fader down on the controller, press play, simple as that. In a similar way, we can do that with bass, synths, or any other split they've got. Also with the Loop Lounge drum box remix sets, we've got the option to add extra bits as well, so not just the bass drum. For example, Ensure that you play everything in time and everything is synced and you can manipulate however you wish. Another similarity with remix sets and stem tracks, you can choose where you assign effects. For example, if I just want it on the drums, make sure the effect send is on and these three are off. just affects the drums. You can use remix sets and the stem track in exactly the same way as normal tracks, but you can manipulate them a lot greater. Let's for example change the remix set. And if for instance we just want a couple of sounds from each one, you could always loop the stem tracks and create a new sound.
possibilities are really endless. Why not try using remix sets and stem tracks together to get your own unique sound?